Hey guys you're watching Dog Dingda Afghan Hound Top Secret Facts and Information Video. Let's see what we can discover about the Afghan Hound Dog. Let's get started. But before we start, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to become a part of our notification squad. Afghan Hound History the Afghan Hound comes from Afghanistan, where the original name for the breed was Tazi. The breed has long been thought to date back to the pre-Christian era. DNA researchers have recently discovered that the Afghan Hound is one of the most ancient dog breeds and dates back thousands of years. The first documentation of a Western Afghan breeder is that of an English officer stationed near Kabul. Afghan hounds from his Ghazni kennel were transported to England in 1925, and then made their way to America. The breed was recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1926 and the Afghan Hound Club of America was admitted for membership with the AKC in 1940. Afghan Hound Personality The Afghan Hound is typically a one-person or one-family dog. Do not look for this hound to eagerly greet your guests. More likely, he will offend them by being indifferent to their presence. While some hounds may bark once or twice when a stranger enters the home, this breed is not known to be a good watchdog. The independent thinking of the Afghan makes it a challenge to train. This hound is generally not motivated by food and does not possess as strong a desire to please as many other breeds. Afghan Hound Care Afghan hounds prefer being inside with family. They're laid back and calm in the house but are naturally active dogs and need daily exercise, which ideally includes a leash walk or run, plus a free run in a fenced area. Hi, secure fencing is a must if you plan on keeping your hound in a yard. The Afghan is an adept escape artist and once loose, is truly hard to catch. Consistent obedience training is necessary and positive reinforcement methods work best. Afghan Hound Health Issues Afghans are generally healthy, but like all breeds, they're prone to certain health conditions. Not all Afghans will get any or all of these diseases, but it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. Allergies. Symptoms in the Afghan are the same as in people. Sneezing, eye and nasal discharge, itching, hair loss, and lethargy. Treatment varies according to the cause and may include dietary restrictions, medications, and environmental changes. Cancer. Symptoms that may indicate canine cancer include abnormal swelling of a sore or bump, sores that do not heal, bleeding from any body opening, and difficulty with breathing or elimination. Treatments for cancer include chemotherapy, surgery, and medications. Juvenile cataracts. The Canine Eye Registration Foundation, sir, defines cataracts as a partial or complete opacity of the lens, and warns this is the leading cause of vision loss in dogs. Depending on the severity, cataracts may sometimes be removed surgically. Hypothyroidism. This is a disorder of the thyroid gland. Symptoms include chronic ear infections, bacterial infections of the skin, hair loss, lethargy, and depression. This condition is most commonly treated with medication and diet. Afghan Hound Feeding. Recommended daily amount. 2 to 2.5 cups of high-quality dry food a day, divided into two meals. Keep your Afghan in good shape by measuring his food and feeding him twice a day rather than leaving food out all the time. If you're unsure whether he's overweight, give him the eye test and the hands-on test. First, look down at him. You should be able to see your waist. Then place your hands on his back, thumbs along the spine, with the fingers spread downward. You should be able to feel but not see his ribs without having to press hard. If you can't, he needs less food and more exercise. Afghan Hound Coat Color and Grooming Properly groomed, the Afghan coat is spectacular. It is very fine in texture, similar to human hair, and thick and silky. On the head is a long, silky top knot. With the exception of the back, the entire body is abundantly covered in hair, even the ears and feet. The hair is short and close along the back and smooth in mature dogs. Grooming is a must for the Afghan. Because the coat is fine, it has a tendency to tangle easily. Regular, even daily, brushing and combing is necessary, as is frequent bathing. 
Many owners elect to hire a professional groomer to keep the coat in good condition because grooming the afghan is so time-consuming and difficult. It is certainly not a job for beginners, though owners can learn to manage the coat if they are willing to work hard. Afghan Hound Children and Other Pets The Afghan's independent nature and large size make him best suited as an adult companion. The Afghan is not likely to want to follow around and play with children. In fact, a child's quick movements and noise level can startle the Afghan. With proper socialization, though, the Afghan can adjust to life in a family with children and be loving and with them. The Afghan tends to most enjoy the company of his own kind, other Afghan hounds. The Afghan will tolerate, even be indifferent, to other pets in a household. Not surprisingly, the Afghan's hunter's instinct leads him to chase small animals, especially if they run away. Afghan Hound Exercise and Training Afghans need about two hours of daily exercise including walks or runs, as well as activities that make use of the Afghan's natural hunting drive, such as lure coursing. This breed loves to hike and swim, as well. It is also recommended that the Afghan has a chance to run off-leash in an enclosed area once or twice a week. Although they are known for their smarts, Afghan hounds can be aloof and stubborn when it comes to training. Unless the goal is to train for shows, obedience, or sport, most Afghan owners find it sufficient to stick to the basics of household training. Keep in mind that because their hunting drive is one of their strongest features, even the best trained Afghan hound may still refuse to listen to, stay, or, come, if they are in the pursuit of prey. Afghan Hound Temperament Afghan hounds have a regal appearance with silky long coats and a tall stature. Described as, high maintenance, by some with an almost clownish personality. They love to play and have fun but they are also fiercely independent. Sometimes described as aloof, they can be wary around strangers and a little standoffish. Early socialization is key, their independent nature has seen them likened to the cat of the dog world. They can either be your best friend, or not care at all that you're in the room. Afghan Hound Feeding Recommended daily amount 2 to 2.5 cups of high quality dry food a day, divided into two meals. Keep your Afghan in good shape by measuring his food and feeding him twice a day rather than leaving food out all the time. If you're unsure whether he's overweight, give him the eye test and the hands-on test. First, look down at him. You should be able to see your waist. Then place your hands on his back, thumbs along the spine, with the fingers spread downward. You should be able to feel but not see his ribs without having to press hard. If you can't, he needs less food and more exercise. How much you like the video and the information please let us know in the comment box. We are very glad to be making this video. We will try to make a video with more facts soon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and share.